And that's not my brother. That's a ham sandwich. <laughs> log of the base. If the so if we're doing the integral, the antiderivative of a to the x, it's a to the x over l and a. Because basically what you're doing is dividing out the l and a that you multiplied in when you took the derivative. So the integral of a to the x is a to the x over l and a. Alright? Good. And that's today's lesson. Alright. Okay. No, we're gonna do something good. Alright. Camera now. Let's start with a very simple one. So let's just see if we can find the integral of 2 to the x. Having trouble with the focus. There we go. See, when I stand, when I stand out of the camera's thing, it goes out of focus. And when, I step, when I step back in, it's in focus again. All right. So anyway, so 2 to the x. What's the antiderivative of 2 to the x dx? 2x over x. Or, no, it's uh, a to the x over ln. A to the x over ln 2. 2 to the x over ln 2. Over LN two. Two to the x over ln 2 <laughs> plus c. And that's actually the typical level of question that you would see for this topic on the AP exam. That's really just like you have to know the equation. So very rarely do they use to do u substitution on an a to the x type of problem. But if they did, it would be something more like this. That's not bad. All right, this is just like e to the x. If your exponent is not just x, then that's usually your u. So see if you can find your u and your du and rewrite your integral and find your antiderivative. <coughs> So what's u? Ooh, what is u? Just the 3x plus 5. Okay, yeah, that happens. That's okay. All right. So du is 3dx, but we don't want a 3, so I'm going to divide out the 3. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So we get integral of 1 third times 2 to the u du. So we end up with 1 third times 2 to the u over ln 2 plus c. And then if you want to clean it up, you write 2 to the 3x plus 5 over 3 ln 2 <laughs> plus c. Swag. Make sense? Any right questions? On? Let's take it up another notch. Do we have to write ln in cursive? You know, I've always written ln in cursive to keep the L from looking like a 1, but you certainly don't have to. Okay. Is that the same word, sir? The nutty? Come on. Alright, yeah. so. Oh, I got you. Ooh, a definite integral. Trying to trip us up. Oh, that's true. Oh, she's definitely succeeding in tripping us up. Okay. One hundred percent. It's a definite integral. What would your u be? X plus three. Close. X yeah. plus three cubed. X plus three cubed, right? Yep. 
Because if you didn't, if you just use the x plus three, you'd have two to the u cubed, and you still wouldn't be able to integrate it, okay. right? So you have to get it as just two to an, a single x, two to one variable, not a variable cubed. Do we have to show that like it cancels out, or can we just like automatically cancel it out? Oh, I always just automatically cancel it out. All right. Normally, when you're doing the derivative of a quantity, right, so you do 3 times x plus 3 squared times the derivative of the argument, right? But the derivative of the argument is just 1. So we end up with, oh, it's another 1 third du x plus 3 squared dx. So let's see what we've got here. Don't forget to change the u. Ooh, here we go. So we have 1 third times 2 to the u du, and we have to change the limits. Nine. So, ooh, we've got some big numbers here. So we have 3 cubed, which is 27, over 4 cubed, which is 64. Never mind. That was so close, Jacob. I lied. So, that's okay. All right, so here's what we end up with. We have 1 third times 2 to the u over ln 2 from 27 to 64. Yeah, I'm not going to actually do this out. We have 2 to the 64th over 3 ln 2 minus 2 to the 27th over 3 ln 2. I once convinced this girl that synthetic leather came from the prosthetic limbs of cows. So that you did not. I, I did. So that when cows like were like hurt, they would give them prosthetic limbs, and then that's where synthetic leather came from. I can see you trying to convince a girl, but I don't think the girl would actually believe you. No, I did. Well, you. Yeah, didn't she believe me? Avery Perkins? She totally believed me. <laughs> I promise you 100% she believed me. But this was in like 7th grade. I'm be honest, but it it's cheap believe me. Money is just trying to save. All right, one more example. Just to emphasize one last little point. You should text her. Do what? Oh no, that's actually true. Gelatin is made out of like cow hose and like cow hose. It's, whole it's like any type of hose. Okay. We've got a slightly different kind of problem here. So for this one, even though the exponent is not just x, you're not going to let u just be that exponent. What do you think u needs to be for this problem? 3 plus 2, 5x. Very good. 3 plus 2 to 5x. You want it to be that whole denominator. Everyone see if you can find u and find, we've well, already found u, but find du. Is the 2 only on the 5, or is the 5x only on the 2, or is it on the entire thing? Uh, this is just 2 to the 5x. Oh, okay. mm -hmm. Alright, be very careful when you do your derivative. The derivative of 2 to the 5x is actually 2 to the 5x times ln2 times 5. You always multiply by the derivative of the argument. That's chain rule, right? <laughs> dx. Now, we want just 2 to the 5x dx. So we've got to get rid of this 5 ln 2 right here. How do we do that? Well, we can just divide it out because 
is five, are there any variables in 5LN2? No. no. No, then it's really just a big coefficient. That's nice. Yeah. So remember, ln of a number is a constant, right? It's not, it's not a variable. ln of 2 is a constant. ln of 5 is a constant. Those are all constants. So let's rewrite, because this can get a little bit confusing. So we have 1 over 5 ln 2 times 1 over u du. Hmm. Could that go all into one giant ln? Like the denominator. You can bring out the constant. Whenever you goes to L and U, right? So here's what we have. 5 L and 2 is just a coefficient. So this becomes L and absolute U plus C. So what you end up with is natural log of 3 plus 2 to the 5x over 5 L and 2 plus C. Now, why didn't I put the 3 plus 2 to the 5x in absolute value? Because, because, it's be because 2 to any exponent is always positive, right? Yep. So this argument will always be positive, so you don't need the absolute value. Does that make sense? Yes? Can you put the derivative of 2 to the 5, 2 raised to the 5x? Yes. Do you just multiply by the coefficient? Yes. You multiply by, whenever you do 2 to this, 2 to the, I want to say stuff, but to the stuff, it's 2 to whatever it is, times the natural log of the base, times the derivative of whatever, whatever this exponent is. Good. Any other questions? Fantastic. Shutting off the camera.